Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, June 9th, 2021. I am Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We have Thursday next week at the end here, first quarter moon. So it's going to start looking nice for going out and taking an evening stroll in the heat. We're going to get to that heat in just a second. But the good news on our drought front is m even more relief in the eastern two-thirds of the state. Not so much for the west, but take a look as we go forward a week. It is now drought-free right down the front range, all the way down to the New Mexico border pretty much. And uh, we just need more rain out west. That's part of a much larger desert southwest drought, very long-term drought here that's not making things any better for Lake Mead and water needs Southern California and Arizona. So going from last week, we had long-term drought. That's now gone. Much of the plains up into Colorado are now drought-free or have drought relief. It's just been a lot of moisture here. Texas is, is having persistent flooding problems even, so lots of water. Uh, looking at rainfall over the last seven days, this is much more of a summer-like pattern. It's where the thunderstorms popped and traveled, and you get a few bullseyes here and there of heavier rain, scattering of stuff elsewhere. Uh, not much out on the eastern plains, but um, you know, it's, it's going to be different each day. For severe weather, we don't have anything local. The closest severe weather will uh, occur on Thursday. And this is due to a shortwave trough traveling up over the, a giant ridge. We're going to break all that uh, apart in just a second here. But yeah, just clipping the extreme northeastern corner of the state, you'll see thunderstorm buildups to the northeast. But nothing around here. Looking at uh, the three weeks of two weeks ago last week and this week of severe weather probabilities and if you take a look at going forward it kind of grows northward and westward and a little more north and westward right around Longmont northern Colorado so we are entering our severe weather period and there's just nothing uh, on the radar so to speak for the next week or so so there's that shortwave trough on Thursday night passing by, but this growing ridge down here over the Sonoran Desert uh, is really impressive, and it's pushing this trough all the way up into Canada. There's the moisture flow. We are have below normal uh, atmospheric moisture, precipitatable water. Uh, big river of it going right up into Montana and the Dakotas up here with a low up in uh, Wyoming. That's going to be some very active areas there. By Sunday, the entire west is dominated by a gigantic ridge. Look at that high center. You're just not going to see um, thunderstorm return until the moisture gets high enough. There's just a general sinking motion in the atmosphere. Uh, under a ridge like this. But we do get some of the moisture back, so there's a flow out of the Gulf. Might even see a tropical system flow uh, form down here. We'll take a look at that in the animation in just a moment. Something was wrong with the uh, GFS ensemble, and so I had to go to a different source, so this looks really different. Um, we're taking a look at this color bar in the middle, and then the precipitation at the bottom. Uh, Nothing really showing up until uh, you go to the 14th and 15th of June. Our uh, normal highs are climb from 80 to 84, normal lows from 51 to 53. And the 80 degree temperature is the top of the yellow. So all the orange and dark orange are above normal temperatures. The 50 degree mark so is on this blue green. Um, boundary so we don't even get down to normal low except maybe once in here around the uh, morning of the 12th. So let's put this all into motion taking a look at the 500 millibar pattern. Here goes that severe storm producing uh, 
shortwave trough up into Canada and here comes the ridge. We're out to Sunday now. You can see the, the high pressure center wobbling around near the four corners up to Tuesday. Now we're moving into Tuesday midday and Tuesday night, Wednesday. Look at that high pressure. It's just about on top of Colorado going into the middle and end of next week. It is going to be hot for a while. Taking a look at that heat, you can see that this, as the trough moves up, it does drag in some cool air. That does spread down on Friday, and it's a cold front. So we get one day, or back down to normal. That cool air vanishes. There's some thunderstorms popping up there. And then that high really establishes itself in the west, and we see remarkable heat. On this side of the ridge, we do see big cold fronts sweeping down across the eastern part of the nation and cooling them off. We even get a little cool air uh, around Wednesday, Thursday next week before the heat pushes it right back east. So this story of thunderstorms for us all comes to whether we have the moisture in place. And so we start this sequence on Thursday, Friday, the brown coloration here just shows that it is dry. The moisture starts to come back on Sunday. Uh, unfortunately remaining uh, to the east of the Continental Divide, but it gets pretty significant at times. There's Tuesday, that's a lot of moisture right there, and Wednesday, so we will see thunderstorms come back, even though the high is sitting overhead. Just high temperatures, moisture, here comes our tropical system down here, we'll have to keep an eye on, that might uh, affect the Texas coast. This is not as useful in the summer, uh, looking at the future radar basically, but uh, there's our severe weather up with that short wave and off into Canada it goes. But uh, it does show when thunderstorms will form in an area. The exact location of thunderstorms uh, is not going to be captured by the, these graphics. It's random. But we can see that by Tuesday, Wednesday, we're seeing thunderstorms form on the eastern plains and in the mountains. Here comes Thursday, thunderstorms heading down into Texas, and then Friday, a yeah, little bit of stuff popping around. Taking a look at the precipitation, you can see it's very light, less than a quarter of an inch over the next five days, and that really has to do with if we get hit by a thunderstorm. We really didn't uh, over the last week uh, much at all. Looking further out, I got some bullseyes here and there of where it is making up some thunderstorm activity. We are still less than a half inch over that 10 days and no rain is, is definitely a possibility. So taking a look at the next week, there's mid to upper 90s into Thursday. That cool front spreads down on Friday. Uh, will be stable and so you won't see thunderstorms or much in the way of cloudiness either then the heat comes back for the weekend by monday we're uh, mid 90s maybe places out on the plains will be topping 100 but with the moisture back we do have a chance for thunderstorms every afternoon for frequent weather updates and local news check out the longmont leader longmontleader.com i've been chief meteorologist john Ensworth. keep looking up